hello what's up ali here and on this video we are going to show you how we can jailbreak our ps4 using an android device so why is this important well there are already a lot of other ways uh, to jailbreak our ps4 and uh, it is always convenient to just use a web host so why do we even need this well first this doesn't require to be connected online and since we'll never know when we need to change or reset our host using this method all we need is just an android device and we will be able to change or reset our host and it is always more stable to use private hosting though i won't suggest to use this on a regular basis but it always helps if we have some backup methods to jailbreak our ps4 so let us go ahead and proceed to our video on this video we are going to need an application and this one comes from echo stretch I will leave a link on our description for his YouTube uh, for his YouTube account. If we can, let's go ahead and take a time to uh, check and subscribe to his channel. He has done a lot of uh, stuff to help our community. First, we'll have to download this APK. The link is in our description. So just download the file by clicking on this part and install it to your PS4. By the way, if uh, you get any errors when running the application, that simply means that you have a similar application installed to your phone. So all you have to do is just uninstall any similar application that allows PS4 jailbreak before you run this application. After the installation, just go ahead and open the program and simply hit start. On the PS4, all we have to do is just go to the following address. But before we can do that, we have to connect our PS4 to our Android first. And for that, we'll have to use Hotspot. Then on our PS4, go to the internet settings. So go to the settings. Network. Set up internet connection. Use Wi-Fi. Easy. Then simply connect to your hotspot. From here, just go to the browser, then we need to reset our host. Now here on the enter URL, we need to enter the host that is provided by the application. From here, you can go ahead and load your payloads using your phone. Credits to EcoStretch for this amazing Android application. And to all individuals who have made our PS4 jailbreak scene as convenient as it is right now. From here, you can go ahead and try other stuff. But to activate your jailbreak, I would recommend to use this. From here, just exit and re-enter the page and it will activate the jailbreak as usual then just simply use your payloads Though it is a lot more stable using private hosting when jailbreak in PS4, but you can still encounter some errors every once in a while. To minimize it, I would strongly recommend to leave the host as soon as you activate the jailbreak. And if you plan to use this method on a regular basis, you don't have to set up your PS4 or your Android device 
every time you jailbreak your PS4. This will cache offline like your usual web host, so just restart your PS4 and go to the browser. You see like uh, the normal web host, it will still cache on our PS4. So we only need to set it up once and we no longer need the application the next time we activate our jailbreak. But if we need to reset our host, all we need is just connect our PS4 to our Android phone again and do the same stuff to activate our jailbreak but still we don't need an internet connection. So this will be it for now. If you have encountered some any issues, errors, if you have some questions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.